In case of arterial bleeding, you should apply tourniquet proximal to the wound. Your tourniquet should have some padding underneath it to prevent skin damage, so use the victim's clothing, pant leg or shirt sleeve or gauze to place under it if you can. Place your tourniquet about 2 to 4 inches away from the edge of the wound. Don't place it directly over the wound because the arteries upstream from the injury will still drain into and out from the open wound. Next, you should tightly wrap your tourniquet and fixate it with adhesive tape and use plastic stick as a torsion device. You must then twist the plastic stick until the tourniquet is tied around the injured limb and the bleeding stops. Mark the victim's forehead with a T to indicate a tourniquet has been applied and also note the time when it was applied, so medical personnel will know. Criteria of tourniquet efficiency are stop of the bleeding in the wound and absent pulsation on distal arteries. In case of venous bleeding, you should apply tourniquet 2 inches distal to the wound. The procedure of tourniquet application is the same as we described earlier. Tourniquet application is temporary and short-term only. As a general guideline, 2 hours is considered the length of time a tourniquet can be tied before neuromuscular injury begins. Any open wound is at risk of infection, that is why you should Wash the wound with antiseptic solution and dress it with a bandage. Finally, you should provide warmth and hydration and give painkillers to victim. Don't cover the tourniquet once applied. You should leave it in a full view for medical personnel when they arrive. Using a tourniquet to stop bleeding prior to starting CPR efforts may help preserve the victim's own blood volume. In case of arterial bleeding, you should apply tourniquet proximal to the wound. The tourniquet should have some padding underneath it to prevent skin damage, so use the victim's clothing, pant leg or shirt sleeve, or gauze to place under it if you can. Place your tourniquet about 2 to 4 inches away from the edge of the wound. Next, you should tightly wrap your tourniquet and fixate it with adhesive tape and use plastic stick as a torsion device. After that, you must then twist the plastic stick until the tourniquet is tied around the injured limb and the bleeding stops. Finally, write tourniquet application time on tourniquet directly and mark victim's forehead with a T Criteria of tourniquet efficiency are stop of the bleeding in the wound and absent pulsation on distal arteries. In case of venous bleeding, you should apply tourniquet 2 inches distal to the wound. The procedure of tourniquet application is the same as we described earlier. After tourniquet application, you should wash the wound with antiseptic solution and dress it with a bandage. Finally, you should provide warmth and hydration and give painkillers to victim. Do not cover the tourniquet once applied. You should leave it in a full view for medical personnel when they arrive.